how to wet shim your framed walls. This is a quick way to obtain plumb and flat walls when you rip out an old shower and you find that the framing studs are not flat when putting a level up to them or they are not plumb. Installing your backer board before addressing these issues will make your tile installation a complete nightmare. Now I will show you two circumstances where you would want to wet shim. This can only be done with your foam backer board, not your cement backer board. The best type of thin set to use for this method would be a modified rapid set thin set, but you can also use a standard modified thin set such as your Schluter all set. Now keep in mind guys, you need to pre-plan when you decide to wet shim. Put together a punch list of other things to do around or on that project because after you get your board tapped down flat and plumb, you need to let it set up. Two hours for your rapid set, three to four hours for your standard modified thin set. So after it's tapped, after it's flat, after it's plumb, you need to let it set up before you can put your screws in find some other things to do on that project, and then come back and screw your boards down. So let's quickly show you what to look for and how to quickly wet shim to correct any framing issues before you install your backer board. Now when you rip out an old shower and you're prepping your studs, place a level on the framing to see whether or not the walls are flat. Big gap in that middle stud. Let's quickly show you what happens if you do not address this stud here. And again, this is what it looks like if you do not address your backer board and framing. A very large gap there. You do not want to have to make up that gap with thin set mortar. Not only will the end result not look as good, but it will take a lot of time. Let's quickly wet shim this stud here so that we can obtain a flat wall. Okay, the board is tapped and flat. What you wanna do is let the thin set cure and set up a bit. Couple hours, depending on the thin set mortar you decide to use, whether it's rapid set or standard, modified. Again, two to three hours, let it set up. Go find something else to do around the project. You then come back, screw it off, and then you have a nice flat substrate to, to install your tile on. Let's show you the result. No gap in the middle. Flat wall, perfect substrate to begin your shower tile installation. Now that is method number one on how to address a wall that is not flat. Let's show you method number two, how to address a wall that is not plumb. Let's quickly show you how out of plumb this is. And we are out of plumb, about a quarter of an inch. Let's show you how to quickly remedy this. Now keep in mind guys, you can use the wet shim method with any type of foam backer board, such as your Weedy, your Go board, or your Curdy, but you cannot use it with a cement board such as Hardy Backer. Okay, let's stick and tap our board and get it plumb. Let the thin set cure up a bit and then install your screws. Okay, let's check the level and check for plumb.
And there you go. Plumb and flat, ready for tile installation. Well, there you have it, how to achieve flat and plumb walls for tile installation for your showers. As usual, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. If you liked the video, tap like, and I'll see you guys on the next one.